Well, thank you very much for that report, Jihan. Now, we are going to stay uh, with this extreme weather that's creeping towards this typhoon uh, Solik, and uh, we'll continue to bring you uh, reports on this throughout the next a uh, couple of days at least as we gauge how much damage this typhoon does. So on its current path, it's forecast to be the first typhoon, as we heard, to pass over the country in years. Many other typhoons have indirectly affected us, but this one is going to directly influence Korea. The last time a similar storm, Typhoon Kompasu, did that in 2010, in fact, uh, five people were killed and there was widespread damage. So. Uh, it is advisable to stay safe when this storm makes landfall and keep an eye on weather reports uh, like those done by our Lee ji -hun. So for this report, we're going to turn to our So eun -kyung. Korea is expected to be hit directly by typhoon for the first time in six years, starting Wednesday. The last typhoon that made landfall on the Korean peninsula was Sanda in 2012. The 19th typhoon of the season Solik is heading northwards after it was formed in waters northwest off Guam's coast last week. Although Solik has been characterized to the equivalent to a Category 2 hurricane, it stands out from previous tropical storms as it features the enormous size. A typical cyclone I is around a few dozen kilometers wide. However, Typhoon Soik's eye is more than 100 kilometers wide, indicating that it would take several days for the Korean Peninsula to get out of the direct influence of the storm. Typhoons usually can't pass over Korea when the North Pacific anti-cyclone surrounds the peninsula. Korea has been free from typhoons directly influencing the nation because the North Pacific anti-cyclone has been rotating over the peninsula. Korean authorities are in high alert and are bracing for potential damage. Typhoon Solik is forecast to be similar to Kompasu in 2010, which claims five lives and caused widespread damage in Seoul, as well as mountainous and coastal areas. The rear typhoon has been sweeping in towards southern Japan and is now heading north, nearing Korea's Jeju Island. Solik is forecast to hit the city of Gwangju on Thursday afternoon and move towards Gangwon-do province by Friday afternoon, bringing heavy rainfall and strong wind gusts. Seo Eun-kyung, Arirang News.